Hey Internet, today is Culinarians Day, a day for the cooks, and we've been on the longest streak of food holidays yet. But do you remember that Kitchen Klutz Day where I massacred a recipe? Well, I think it's time to cook that recipe the right way. So come on! Alright, here are our ingredients. Let's begin. Alright, I have greased up the muffin pan and we're going to start mixing together our flour, our baking soda, our baking powder, and a little bit of salt. Let's give that some stir action. Alright, in another bowl you want to put your egg, put in all your bananas, and drop in your melted butter. <clears throat> and then mix that up with your hand mix. Now one thing I forgot to add in there was the sugar. Mix that in there with the rest of the stuff. Alright, now once that's mixed together, you want to add in that dry mix. And then stir this up just until it's moistened. And then you want to start spooning that batter into the muffin cups. Oh, yeah. All right, now once you have that in your muffin pan, you're going to want to take a small bowl, put some flour in there, a little bit of cinnamon, and some brown sugar, and start mixing that up. All right, then you want to add in a tablespoon of butter. Start mixing this up until it resembles coarse cornmeal. And then all you want to do is start sprinkling that on top of the muffins. All right, now I'm going to bake these for 19 minutes at 375. Now that's how they're supposed to look. That is a muffin, my friends. Hmm. A little better than just regular old banana nut bread. Of course, this has no nuts. I like that sugary topping. Nice and moist. Easy to get these out of the muffin pan, even though they are a bit oversized. That recipe was for uh, 10 muffins, but there's plenty of batter for 12, so I don't know. Pretty dang good muffins. Now if you want to try out these muffins yourself, then the recipe link is down below, hanging out with the calorie burner link. And I even put a link down there for the first time I made these, if you want to see how bad I massacred this recipe.